Hey, what's up guys? Nathan here again with Ubic Videos. Uh, this is going to be a real quick one, but I should have done this one sooner. What we're going to cover today is backing up your wallet uh, or backing up your account. And this is obviously very important because if something were to happen to your computer or to your hard drive and you hadn't done this, then you would probably not be able to get your account back and you would be very unhappy. So anyway, let's get into it. Again, this is going to be a short one. So I'm going to kind of go through this pretty quickly. All right, so go to your directory where you have uh, Gibic, and we're going to fire open a command prompt and launch Gibic in mainnet mode. And then I'm going to do the same thing and attach to it like so. And I'm just going to show you that I don't have an account in here right now, so personal.list accounts returns nothing. And now I'm going to go to the uh, app data folder, percent app data percent enter. So we're in username app data roaming. And now I'm going to open Ubic. And the important folder here is the key store directory. This is the directory that you want to back up if you ever do anything uh, to this directory. So we're going to go inside of here and you'll see that this is empty right now. Again, that's because I don't have any accounts. If you've imported a wallet, that wallet will be in here. Uh, or if you've imported an account rather, uh, a lot of people call them wallets, but they're actually called accounts in Ethereum uh, in Ubic. So just get used to that terminology difference. Um, but what I want to show you is if I make a new account, it will create a file in here. So personal dot new account, give it a password, and boom, boom. So that is our wallet file right there. And you will see that DDE2, oops, I didn't make this quite big enough, DDE2. So this is actually the account address. And that is, uh, it's just helpful to have that in the file, in the file name. But you can also open this with something like Notepad, and the first parameter in that file will be the address as well. So if you need to look up the address on like the Block Explorer or something like that, you can always open the file up and check it out. So that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just copy this file, uh, not cut it, copy it, and paste it somewhere else that's safe, uh, you know, to a flash drive or another computer or, you know, whatever and um, maybe you know print out the actual contents of the file and throw that into a safe something like that however you need to do just keep this file safe uh, the other important part is if we create a new one personal.new account and let's say we make another one we now have a second file in here so each time you do that each time you create a new account you have a new file in here that you need to back up so that's something important to keep in mind. If you're making new accounts, make sure that you have something either automatically backing this directory up or make sure that you're going back here to uh, back the files up manually. I can't stress this enough. Uh, so anyways, guys, if, uh, if you've done this and now you need to import, go ahead and check out the video on importing a wallet into Gubic. And I hope this was helpful. If, again, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Take care, guys.